let's jump into these messages. Pisces, what's up, Pisces? Welcome back. Thank you for watching my channel. She's got the gift. Pisces, I'm back with an energy check-in for you. Please take what resonates from these messages and leave the rest right on where it's at. Don't take it personal if you can't. Okay, overall, Pisces, this is a collective read. I'm picking up on everyone's energy, just not yours. Okay, if you are seeking a personal reading at this time, you want me to do it for you, feel free to reach out to me. My website will be linked down below in the description box. Also, if you guys are interested in seeing more content or just want to show your girl some more support, I would love that. You're always welcome over there to TikTok and Patreon, okay, Pisces? With no further ado, let's jump into your messages. Spirit, holy angels, I call upon you at this time for your insight. Allow me insight for Pisces. I welcome you in at this time. Thank you for using that best on the Protect us, please. Protect our foundation and our loved ones at all times. Allow no weapon that's being formed to come against us to prosper. All black magic, evil entity, spell work being sent our way is to be blocked and returned to where it came from immediately. Pisces, somebody is receiving karma at this time. I keep seeing the infinity sign. So whatever happened last year or the year before last, I feel like it's catching up to them. Or catching up to you. Let's jump into it. Messages for Pisces. Dang. I'm a, I ain't going to take them, but I'm a uh, uh, Ten of Cups here showing up in a Seven of Wands. Some sort of blockage in your happiness. Our family member here could be trying to block you from something because they're receiving karma. There's a backfire. Messages for Pisces. The star in reverse position. Wow. Yeah, something is done. Star in reverse position. Somebody's favorite color here could be green. Somebody could have stars tatted on them. I, I see on the shoulder here, the lover's card showing a, a connection. You could be dealing with a Gemini. Something here could be grown between you and a Gemini. Four of wands in reverse position. Wow. Wow. Seven of Wands here showing up. Mm -hmm. I mean, Seven of Swords, some, some sort of deception. Eight of Cups and the Knight of Cups. Go watch the collective read, Pisces. Whoever you're dealing with, that could be the masculine. You got the Nine of Swords here showing up. Somebody is stressed out about an ending. But I feel like they caused it. Why is the star in reverse position? And this speaks of lack of hope and like, you know what I'm saying? Lack of de desire, lack of ambition. Who, who is this? What is this about? What is this about? Star in reverse position for Pisces. King of Cups. Knight of Cups energy. Masculine. You could be dealing with a Cancer. This could be you, though. Nine of Cups. The Hanged Man. King of Cups here. Nine of Cups and the Hanged Man. Wow, you Pisces. It's your energy. But somebody feels like it's over with. Like somebody feels like they sacrificing. You could either feel like this or they feel like this about you. Like somebody feels like they're you sacrificing them for another person. You do got the lovers here though. It do speaks about options. And you got the nine of cups here too. So somebody do can't have it their way if that's how they really wanted it. And whoever is on the outside of this looking in on this relationship, this is the one with the star in reverse position feeling like hopeless to, for a situation. Like somebody feels like all hope is gone. Inside on the lovers for Pisces. Somebody's birthday here could be June 6th or June 8th. Your person birthday. Or you could be a Gemini watching this. The Hierophant here. Wow. Higher level of commitment. You could be married to someone. Or it was just a lesson that needs, needed to be learned between you and this person. You could be dealing with a Taurus. Five of Wands here, Nine of Wands. Mm. It was, whatever this is here was meant to teach you a lesson. The Lover's Card is clarified with the Hierophant showing up here, the Five of Wands with the Nine of Wands. I see you coming out of the chaos though. And eventually, and eventually distancing, your, distancing yourself from the situation or this person is. But like I said, something is meant to teach you a lesson, Pisces. One more. Four of cups here showing up. Yeah, four of wands showing up over here in reverse position. 
Yes, it's like somebody is not giving in no more. Like somebody is holding back for a reason. Somebody don't want to do it no more. Somebody is tired of the, the chaos and the drama and having to defend their position. I feel like somebody has been put through a lot having to defend their position and now they just don't even want to do it no more. Inside on the four wands in reverse position. Four of Wands in reverse position. Why is this in reverse position? Nine of Pentacles here, Knight of Swords. Uh, earth sign that wants to be free or wants to be single or do their own thing. And then you have the Knight, Knight of Swords here showing a more Gemini energy. But I feel like somebody is angry because someone is dropping something. Somebody is mad because they decided to drop it or not fight for it no more. The Wheel of Fortune can't make it up. Mm -hmm. Go watch the collective replay. See, something is over. It's over. Karma is at play here. This is exactly how I was supposed to play out. Yeah, y'all was supposed to just teach each other a lesson, or he or she was supposed to just teach you a lesson, Pisces. And I feel like the lesson has been taught. I feel like somebody don't want to fight no more. Yeah, somebody is just seeking happiness and peace. And they feel like wherever you at, you feel like wherever you at, or this person feel like wherever y'all at in this whole situation, this whole dynamic here is just not working. It's just not working. It was too much deception here. You got competition here and battling, and then you got the Seven of Swords. Insight on the Seven of Swords. Somebody could like silver or wear silver. Somebody is real gloomy, though, at this time. Like, their days are, like, dark, like, you know, because they coming out of something. You coming out of this. Insight on the deception here. Seven of Swords energy. What's this about? Yeah, I'm seeing Fox. Somebody is like real sneaky with it. Um, the tower here showing up Scorpio energy and the Ace of Swords. So some sort of the truth come out about who who's the liar. The truth shall set you free. Show me more on this. The Seven of Pentacles. So uh, some truth is coming out about some money. Or who somebody is investing their time in. Or like this talk is going to be had about who somebody is dealing with. Or more earth energy here with the seven of pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. Heavy on a Taurus for a couple of years. It could be a Virgo or a Capricorn. The sun here. Yeah, there's some sort of like exposure here. Show me more on this. The ten of swords. The ten of pentacles. Wow. About some money. Somebody stole some money. Mm. Somebody here too could have portrayed somebody in like a they family or somebody like portray somebody with a family member. I don't see SEX or nothing like that. I see something about money or like something hidden about some money. One of your lovers could have did this, stole from you. Show me more. Scorpio energy here. I see Aquarius energy. I also see Leo with this Seven of Swords, whoever this deceptive person is. Two of Wands. Show me more. I just feel like somebody is choosing to be happy. Yeah, somebody is choosing to be happy and somebody is taking it upon themselves here to disrupt whatever this is that somebody has going on here. Page of Swords showing up. Yeah, Two of Wands here, Page of Swords. Somebody is like willingly taking it upon themselves to go snooping around to see what somebody else got going on so that they can set up a trap. Inside on this Ace of Cups. I mean Eight of Cups. I said Ace of Cups. Queen of Swords. Feminine energy out here. So the masculine energy is feeling like all hope is gone with this situation. Too much deceptive shit has been going on between you two. Or like shit is hitting the fan. Everything is coming to a head. Show me more. Seven of Cups. The Devil. Mm. Capricorn energy is here. Mm. 
Give me one more on this Queen of uh, Queen of Swords. One more on the Queen of Swords. Because it seems like the Queen of Swords is um, it seems like the female energy here is the one in a toxic energy right now. Because they feel like they being played or they like this queen. I don't know, Pisces, this could be your energy because they just gave me the word delusional. I mean, you know, y'all very dreamy. It's like y'all um, show me more on the queen of swords. This could be you and this energy right now of not knowing what you really want to do or if you really want to want revenge or something like that. Queen of um, Queen of Cups. Two queens out here. One king. Show me more. The emperor. Go watch the collective read. Wow. Masculine energy. One on the devil. The queen of pentacles. Look at all of these female energies out here. Female earth sign, female water sign, female air sign is here. And this masculine has a hold on all of them or is controlling or is watching all of them. This is crazy. One more on the seven of cups. The moon, your energy Pisces. Show me more. It's hidden. Something is hidden. So somebody feels like they, somebody feels like something. Ace of Cups, new love. Ooh, see what I'm saying? Somebody is taking it upon themselves here. They somebody is getting curious, trying to see on who somebody to somebody is giving, who somebody want to give something to, or who somebody opening up to. Ooh, -wee. things could turn left because somebody is like real toxic. Somebody is like literally taking it upon themselves to sabotage what somebody else got going on because they don't because they don't know where they what they want in life or they don't know what they really want to do here with this Seven of Cups. Like somebody here is like delusional, self delusion. Who is this Knight of Cups energy for Pisces? This masculine could be older. Somebody feels like too, just because you got it, they got a kid by you or you got a kid by them that they can control you. I feel like somebody is like bent up on trying to control the other person's like how they how they how it turns out for them. They narrative. Like somebody like really want to control something. Like this is all they want is control. This is why shit is coming to an head. Because somebody really not about that life here. This is why the four wands is in reverse position. You really want to play games. You really want to be toxic. You really want to have had me in competition with other motherfuckers and deal with other people and like somebody is not about who they say they are like they they not that type mm -mm. inside on the knight of cups for pisces uh king of pentacles so you have a, a counterpart out here king and the queen of pentacles show me more king and the queen of cups out here so somebody has feelings for one person, but is that enough? Like somebody got emotions or got love for another person, but the, the person that they got feelings and love for is toxic. And then there's this other person here who matches their, like, you know what I'm saying? Matches their energy, is more stable. Show me more. This masculine, though, is in this Knight of Cups energy. Knight, King of Pentacles showing up. This could be a Taurus masculine for a couple of y'all. Page of Wands. So the, he's he's taking it upon himself to reach out. Six of Pentacles. Give me one more. So Pisces, if you left somebody because they didn't want to decide on you, I feel like they will come back here. They will reach out. Two of Cups. One more. Leo energy is here for a couple of y'all. Heavy Leo. Aries, Pisces, Capricorn. Scorpio, Taurus, Cancer, Three of Swords. Who is this going to be heartbroken over this? So there's a new connection here. There's a connection happening for somebody, and somebody is heartbroken. The Empress, wow. Somebody's spouse. Because you got the Emperor here showing up. The Six of um, 
Six of Swords. Yeah, somebody is being guided away from somebody. Like somebody. Mm -hmm. uh, five of Pentacles here showing up. Queen of Wands. Damn. Somebody wants to get back because they got left out. What's the outcome of this? Yeah, I feel like somebody mad because they being left out. They won't get back. What's the outcome? Death here showing up. Um, advice for Pisces. Yeah, something is done. Like, it's done. Like, I, I just heard beep. Flatline. Advice for Pisces. You need to plan ahead because something is over with. The three of wands here showing up for your advice. One more. Uh, the Knight of Pentacles here and the Ace of Wands. I see somebody coming to give you what you want. So maybe this is the other person that they leaving out. I feel like something here ends. I just heard Sunday. It could take place on Sunday. Your advice though here is uh, slow and steady wins the race. Um, be patient. Yo, I feel like your ships are coming in. Three of Wands here, Knight of Pentacles with the Ace of Wands. You end up starting a new journey or a new beginning with somebody else anyway. I feel like something is over with. Somebody is mad and they want revenge. They're curious. They're trying to set shit up and make, you know what I'm saying, impulsive decisions towards you because they mad, Pisces. So heads up on that. But in the meantime, in between time, your advice here is to... Uh, stay 10 steps ahead of this person. Slow and steady wins the race and plan for something bigger and better because it is something bigger and better happening for you in the future, okay? I love you, Pisces. I hope this helped you. March 3rd is very significant. I hope this helped you. If it did, please don't forget to hit the like, the comment, and subscribe button. Until next time, peace.